hello everyone i hope you all doing well today i'm going to deal with this particular model so on this i'm going to do the simulation analysis so i'm having two configurations here this is the second one this is the default actually and this is this uh, second one so with respect to factor of safety which is the strongest one i need to analyze so for that uh, i'll just add in the simulation and i'll start the new study with respect to this static study i'm going to deal with the first one is the first configuration no issues let me just check which configuration the big default one no issues i'll just activate this I'll click on okay to just deal with this one so the static one is active so let me add the fixed show i'll go ahead with the fixed geometry this face should be fixed okay this even this lots i need to fix this particular position with respect to fixed geometry i'll do that and then i'll directly apply the load force on this particular phase of 400 newton okay 400 newton force on that particular phase and the material already assigned asi 1020 and then uh, i'll mesh it with respect to uh, curvature based as there are number of curvatures so i can use fine meshing i'll click on green check so this will mesh the geometry and now once everything is done i'll just run the study so once it gives the results i can directly uh, use second configuration to do the same thing okay the study is running now it might take a few minutes as my system is slow so that's fine so it has given the results here this is with respect to one versus stress you can animate this to check the results it is gonna changing now i'll draw the float of factor of safety and i'll use automatic no issues directly if you can green check and here the factor of safety is 4.6 for the default condition okay now i'll copy the study entire study i'll copy uh, i think it's duplicate here so i'll use the second configuration directly and this is active and you can see everything is grayed out because the configuration is inactive i'll create this configuration active by just selecting this option active solidworks configuration once you do that everything is fine so i just need to run everything again so i'll just click on green check as you can see the everything is fine mesh i need to recreate as the shape changes the mesh will also change right so i'll recreate the mesh mm -hmm. and here i'll use the curvature based and the fine mesh so that is quite simple over there and then once the meshing is done you can go ahead with the running the result so let's see uh, the previously we got the factor of 34.6 ratio of uh, ultimate stress to the yield stress so here we're gonna check what is the case actually if we got the results here and i'll activate the factor of safety directly here it is available the minimum factor of safety is 2.9 so compared to the default as you already increase the thickness as we have reduced the thickness of this so this gives the results so here you can make the changes into this by just editing this one i'll make upper limit as 3 whichever lies just up to 3 and below 3 it should give the results over there so here we can consider this location is getting failed here right so this is how you can just differentiate with respect to factor of safety so if you want you can compare the results so with respect to two studies all the configurations here so i'll just go ahead with the factor of safety itself i'll click on okay 
to compare these two and here just by seeing these two we can able to analyze the second configuration has factor of 72.9 and the first one is 4.6 compared to these two the first one is good one so it can withstand more load so i can consider this model for the analysis purpose and you can see the thickness here the thickness is much more better than this one i hope this video might help you to deal with the factor of safety and analyzing things thank you all thank you all for watching please do like and subscribe our channel stop